guys, Slobo Nation. Welcome back to another DIY Wednesday. And today I have a really fun DIY that I want to share with you guys. Um, over the weekend, I watched the show, The OA, and it was such a mind-blowing, impactful, and empowering show to me. And so I was inspired to create a cute little top that is an homage to the show. It is such a fantastic show. It is very well written, everything about it, like just from the cinematography to the characters. I personally like it a little bit more than straight things I think it is a little bit deeper in meaning so I decided to create this little white top here it sucks because on camera it kind of looks a little boxy right now but it's actually really really cute in person but the cute thing about this top is that it has two zippers in the back and then I can zip on and off my wings so when I feel like an angel I can zip them on and when I don't I can just take them off and and still be able to wear the top I really enjoy this top so I think I'm just gonna wear this today to go pick up my mom and puppy brother yeah so let's go ahead and get started Okay, so before we get started, you're going to need the pattern for this and I have a PDF attached down below for you to create the pattern. You're going to cut out one piece for the center front. And then where the darts are, you're going to go ahead and pinch and sew in the darts. Because the fabric we're working with is woven fabric, you're going to need some darts to create some shape. So this is what it's going to look like after you've sewn in the darts. Here's the not so fun part. You're going to repeat all of that again onto a lining fabric. And this is just regular cotton that you can get from the quilting section. Next, place the lining and the center front piece together and sew along the neckline and the armpit line as well. Now carefully go ahead and just flip everything inside out. And you're just going to treat this as one piece, even though it's lined and everything. Okay, moving on to the back, you're gonna have two center back pieces that looks like this. Face it right sides together and sew along the center back seam. Okay, and here's the not so fun part again. You're gonna repeat this onto lining fabric. So cut out two center back pieces and also face them right sides together and sew the center back seam. Okay, open up the two back pieces and face them right sides together and sew along the V. Okay, moving forward, you're gonna take the front piece and the back piece and you're gonna sew up the side seam, but here's the catch. You're gonna sew completely up one side seam and only one inch of the other side seam. So for the bottom half of this blouse, you're going to take the fabric piece and the lining piece, face them right sides together and sew the bottom. Go ahead and open it up and flip it back onto its right side so that the seam on the bottom is nice and clean. Now go ahead and repeat this onto the other lining and fabric bottom pieces as well. Since you've sewn the fabric and the lining together, you're just gonna treat it as one whole piece, okay? So basically you'll end up with two bottom pieces that is fully lined and you're gonna face them right sides to each other and sew up one side seam. But on the other side seam, you're only just going to sew up about three to four inches because the gap is going to be where your zipper is. At this point, you can attach the top and the bottom together. Now keep in mind that the sides where you've left the opening for the zipper is the sides that you're gonna to match together. Okay, now for the straps, you're gonna need two pieces of fabric that is about three inches wide by 15 inches long. The 15 inches might be larger or smaller depending on how big or small your scapula is. You're also going to need two small separating zippers. These measure about seven inches. And go ahead and separate them while you're at it. Now take the side that doesn't have the pull and place it onto one of the strips of fabric and fold the fabric in half and sew completely across, making sure that you catch the zipper tape. Now carefully and gently just flip everything inside out. Then you're just gonna place the strap right onto the shoulder part of the top and sew across to attach. At this point, you might want to try it on and figure out where you want to sew the bottom part of the strap to your top and then just sew across. For the angel wing, you're going to need the angel wing pattern, which I've also uploaded down below for you guys. Go ahead and cut out two of these onto a foam sheet. 
Now remember those separating zippers from before, you are going to be working with the ones with the pulls this time and you're just gonna stick it right on top of the wings and just sew it straight on. And then at this point I'm just gonna use a hot glue gun and some feathers to glue the feathers on. So that was not fun because I got feathers all over my studio now. And so yeah, that's it. Whenever you're feeling angelic, you can zip on your angel wings or zip them off. So what do you guys think of the DIY? Isn't it super cute? I know it's a little gimmicky and weird. I guess it could be a costume or it could just be something that you want to wear around and feel super duper awesome. I'm just wearing it with some high waisted like gaucho pants that I bought from Target for like $10. If you're gonna try out this DIY, please send me a photo to any one of my social medias using these hashtags because I love seeing you guys use my DIYs and totally being creative with it. And also if you like this video, please like it down below, share it with everyone that you know, and and of course, subscribe to my channel because every subscriber equates to one fairy dust. Actually, in lieu of this video, every subscriber equates to one angel dust. I eat the angel dust and that's what motivates me to create more DIYs for you guys. And so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and um, you guys know how to end my videos. Remember to always rock on slowbies. Bye! So for this tutorial, you're gonna need some aloe vera and as you can see our aloe vera plant is looking a little bit sad because Houston just went through a cold freeze. It was really weird. And I also kind of tripped on the stairs the other day so I'm gonna use some of that on my little ankle here. And check out this little guy. He just loves being around my mom so much even when we're filming. <laughs> Okay, moving on. Now you're gonna take your aloe vera plant in and you're just gonna wash it really thoroughly. It's best to cut them out into big chunks so then you can use like a peeler to peel off the rest of the skin. Also be careful because once you get the peel off, it can be very slimy and they can be very slippery little suckers. What? By the way, while I'm filming this kind of stuff, I'm usually snacking on some stuff. So yeah, yang yang is the treat for today. Once you got all of them nicely peeled, you can go ahead and cut them into tiny little cubes. <laughs> 